This is the Norman Holyfield low whistle in D, which I have on loan to review for the Chiff and Fipple website. It's alloy, or alloy, even the block. They're very nicely made. The tuning slide is um, machined out of the, the thickness of the tube wall. It's a metal to metal join. I'm not going to take it apart right now, but I'll, I'll try and photograph that separately. I'll play a scale to show you the range of notes. And an arpeggio. And some slurred octaves. really to respond to several fingerings you'll find one that's in tune and um, and also do this fairly cool thing with a harmonic series which is getting a long long way up the um, the harmonics from the fundamental Sure, really quite how useful that is in terms of voicing for the lower notes but it's unusual to say the least to be able to to get that far up. The middle C it will take the simple forked fingering this alternative which probably sounds a bit more open and clearer uh, the half hole it's also got a, a good forked fingered B flat half hole again a different tone quality to that um, and um, yeah so, time for a tune. And another.
summary, what have I got to say about this whistle? It's very nicely made, it's got all the notes and it plays in tune. It's not air efficient, you're not going to go for ages in a single breath and you are going to have to take breaths more often than you, you might like on some low whistles. The sound is kind of soft focus, breathy and full of rushing air. It's not a sound I personally care for. Um, if you like that kind of sound, you might like this whistle. Um, I'm afraid it's not for me. And now I'll show you the tuning slide. It's a metal to metal joint. It's beautifully machined. Stiff, but not excessively so. You wouldn't want that um, just flopping apart with no cork. Um, and that's it really. Um, Norman Holyfield, low whistle.